Fallen hero Sergeant Ron Helis received a special honor today. He was killed in the mass shooting at the Borderline Bar and Grill in Thousand Oaks a year ago. Yeah, CBS 2's Kyra Finchdom is live in Thousand Oaks this morning where a portion of Highway 101 was dedicated in his memory. Kyra, good morning. Good morning. A section of the freeway now bears his name. Just behind us, you can see one of the signs. You can see it right there uh, that has gone up alongside uh, that stretch, a 3.4 mile stretch between Hampshire and Lynn Roads. It is now known as the Sergeant Ronald Lee Helis Memorial Highway. It is adjacent to the Borderline Bar and Grill where last year's massacre took place. This morning, California Assemblywoman Jackie Irwin spoke about why this honor and the reminders are important. The borderline building was where Ron proposed to his beloved wife, Karen, and where he bravely fought for the community he served. Every day when we drive by this memorial sign, we will be reminded of Sergeant Ron Helis's bravery and of the men and women of the Ventura County Sheriff's Department and other law enforcement agencies who are willing to risk their lives every day to our community. Last year, 54-year-old Sergeant Helis was on the phone with his wife when he heard radio calls about trouble within the bar. He told her he loved her, then rushed to help, sacrificing his own life. A gunman had opened fire inside, and Helis and 11 other innocent people were killed. Investigators now believe the toll would have been much worse had Helis and a CHP officer not engaged the shooter in a gunfight. Sadly, investigators later learned he was accidentally killed by friendly fire. Sergeant Helis had been with the Ventura County Sheriff's Department for nearly three decades as a SWAT team member and a beloved mentor. He was looking forward to retiring and spending more time with his wife and two grown children. And Karen Helis spoke briefly here today. I just wanted to say thank you to Jackie. Because I know how much love went into this. I know how much hard work went into this. And it, it just makes his life and his legacy keep going. And it means so much to our family. Thank you. Mrs. Helis and her son Jordan, they're part of the unveiling. They left from here to go see the actual signs on the interstate in person. And DeMarco and Suzanne here today were a number of their loved ones also a large number of support staff from the Ventura County Sheriff's Department, their extended family, if you will, all to give support and to really honor the ultimate sacrifice of Sergeant Helis. Yeah, what a way to keep his memory alive. All right, Cara, thank you.